I know quite clearly what I want out of my life. Life and my emotions are the only things I am conscious of. I love the consciousness of life and I want as much of it as I can get. Hello friends, welcome to another video of Indian Heroes. We will talk about Homi Jahagir Baba, the father of Indian nuclear program. Homi Baba was born on October 30, 1909 in an illustrious family with a long tradition of learning and service to the country. His father was Jahagir Baba, a well-known lawyer and mother was Mehran. Baba was exposed to fine arts, music and painting, which molded his artistic traits. Baba was an intelligent, hard-working and sincere student. After finishing schooling, Baba's parents sent him to Cambridge University for higher education in mechanical engineering. They had dreams of Baba becoming a successful engineer, but in 1928, he wrote to his father, I seriously say to you that business or a job as an engineer is not the thing for me. I am burning with a desire to do physics. I earnestly implore you to let me do physics. In response, his father assured him support for further studies in theoretical physics, provided he completed his mechanical engineering. In 1930, Bhava completed mechanical engineering in first class and his father supported extended stay for the degree in physics. After completing his degree in 1932, Bhava continued his research at Cambridge University. His first paper appeared in 1934, based on theoretical explanation of shower production in cosmic rays. Bhava's scattering based on another one of his papers that explained electron-positron scattering was named after him. It was no surprise that at an young age of 31, he was elected a fellow of the Royal Society of London. Baba rubbed shoulders with great physicists like Bohr, Pauli, Dirac and others, who later became Nobel laureates. Baba was on vacation during 1939 when the Second World War broke out and he could not go back abroad to continue his research. He then joined the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore as a reader in the Department of Physics headed by Sir C. V. Raman and set up a cosmic ray research unit. Raman had great admiration for Baba and at the Nagpur Indian Academy meeting in 1941 while introducing Baba said Baba is a great lover of music a gifted artist a brilliant engineer and an outstanding scientist he is the modern equivalent of Leonardo da Vinci it was from Bangalore in 1944 Baba wrote his historical letter to the Tata Trust for support in setting up a center for research work in nuclear science which could play a central role in the development of nuclear energy. This was just two years after 1942 when the first experimental demonstration of a nuclear reactor was made in the US. Based on this letter, the Tata Trust supported him in setting up a laboratory at Bombay, Kenilworth. Subsequently, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research was founded and large-scale research in physics, chemistry, electronics, and mathematics commenced. Thus, Baba had converted the difficulty of not going back abroad to a great opportunity of setting up a front-ranking research facilities within the country. Baba was instrumental in the formation of the Atomic Energy Commission in 1948 and the Department of Atomic Energy in 1954, and he chalked out a focus research and minerals exploration programs for nuclear energy. He was such a visionary that he had realized the importance of a nuclear power program way back in the 1950s 
and enunciated a three-stage nuclear program to meet the energy security of the nation. It consisted of utilization of natural uranium, plutonium and abundant thorium resources in thermal, fast and advanced nuclear reactors with closed fuel cycle. In 1954, he was honored with the Padma Bhushan for his invaluable contributions to science and engineering. It was Bhava who suggested the name Mazon used for a class of elementary particles. In 1950s, Bhava represented India in the International Atomic Energy Agency conferences. He was appointed the President of the United Nations Conference on the Peaceful Uses of Atomic Energy in Geneva in 1955. On Jan 24, 1966, he died in an air crash near Mount Blanc when he was on his way to Vienna to attend a meeting of the Scientific Advisory Committee of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Miscommunication between the Geneva airport and the flight's pilot about the aircraft's position near the Mount Blanc mountain is the official reason of the crash. Several theories have been proposed for the air crash, including a conspiracy theory claiming that the Central Intelligence Agency was involved in order to paralyze India's nuclear program. But none have been proven. No doubt, Homi Bhabha was the finest brain in independent India. And Indian scientific community has always missed him. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe us for more such videos. Thank you.